Hello everyone. So this is my Arduino based oximeter project. I know it looks a bit rough, but it's totally homemade and easy to build. So let's look around a bit. There's the tactile switch, there's the power bank module, the Arduino Nano USB, and there's the OLED 128x32 monochrome display. Uh, so let's turn it on right now with the switch. There we go, custom splash screen by the name Oxyduino. And it's asking me to place my finger on the Oxyduino. There is the sensor. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, so right away we can see that the SPO2 is being displayed. Uh, so it moves around a bit. There's the data moves around a bit because we humans are not very good at applying constant pressure. So as the pressure varies, so does the blood flow within the finger. So that's why the SPO2 fluctuates a bit. Uh, and as we can see the small heart image is beating and that means it's reading the BPM and there we go the BPM is being displayed and it's steadily increasing and there we go it's hovering around 77 to 79 so that's the reading uh, and the SPO2 is at 90 holding at 90 so that's our value uh, I know it looks a bit homemade and janky but uh, I don't have or I don't own actually any expensive equipment like 3d printer and so this is the box I chose and I roughly cut out the holes with an exacto knife or a hobby knife you can call it and in this current pandemic situation that is going on raw materials are a little hard to come by at this situation now let's turn it off and then we can open it up okay as you can see it's a little bit of a rat's nest but if you actually look past that the circuit is fairly simple actually and I'll be attaching a circuit image at the end of this video and also in the description below so let's start with this side as you can see there's the tactile switch there's the battery 130 mAh small quadcopter battery that I bought from Amazon long back. That's the power bank module. I'm supplying the 5 volts. As you can see, there's the cutout for the charging in the 5 volts. This is, as you can see, the OLED display 128 by 32 for the Arduino connected via these jumper wires. This is the Arduino Nano, and beside it, that is actually a voltage booster board. Uh, so actually this voltage booster board is required because initially I thought that the Arduino Nano can function off of a 5 volts coming from the power bank circuit but the display as well as the max 30102 actually also needs 5 volts so when it starts recording the reading it just shuts off so later after googling a bit I saw that 9 volts to 12 volts is recommended in the VIN pin uh, so that it works properly so as you can see I have connected the V in and the ground pin with the help of this green and the blue wire uh, which is actually connected uh, that through the output of the voltage booster board which is set at 10.5 to 11 volts and this voltage booster board is being is getting the input voltage from that of the power bank circuit from the 5 volt which is stepping up to 11.5 volt uh, I know it's not very efficient but it actually will be running for a minute or two uh, so with the help of that pot I just showed it, the voltage can be adjusted and as you can see it actually works with this system and it can be charged very easily also the power bank circuit blinks while it's charging when, when it's solid red it's finished charging the Arduino USB is also free for further programming and there's a second overview and 
so this is my first ever project uh, on YouTube for this channel uh, all your suggestions are highly welcome please uh, do like share and comment this video uh, and also subscribe consider subscribing and pressing the bell icon for more videos like this so it's me mr. B telling you all to keep tinkering and never lose hope